Welcome, my beautiful souls. Uh, today we are going to do a reading for Capricorn. This will be for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising. It's weird. I'm just noticing my computer screen's got a weird color to it. Um, anyways, hopefully it's just me. Um, so, anyways, Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising. Those intuitively guided always. Um, and I thank you for paying attention to your intuition, truly, and so do your guides. Um, by the way, speaking of your guides, I read through my guides who connect to your guides. So this is a great time to ask your guides to give you signs of confirmation throughout a reading. And really, any reading you watch, like bring your guides, your guides into it. Like, is this for me? And it may be not all of it. What parts are? And just pay attention. You know, you either receive like, um, angel bumps or I'll say numbers or names, you know, whatever it may be, it's between you and your spirit guides, um, just to help give you, you know, confirmation if you feel you need it. Um, but just know that your guides know you're here, which brings me into my next subject, which would be if you're in love with the Capricorn platonically, romantically, same thing, your guides know you're here. And they will use any means to get a message to you. And I am their open vessel for them to give you messages. So let's go ahead. And, um, you know, I was going to call this, I've been doing like special little readings. But I have to say, I feel like this is a mixture for you. Because I did your reading um, when I did the all signs and some way, somehow, I forgot you. But then I did your own reading, and I knew that it was meant to be. You know what I mean? I could just tell by the reading that came out um, that was separate from anybody, everybody else's that you were meant to have your own reading. Uh, so same thing. I'm feeling this somewhat for December's reading, so I'll probably mark it as December. But... Again, it's just whenever it reaches you. That's how I feel my readings are. Whenever they reach you, whenever it comes across to you, you know, it's like it's in front of you. It doesn't mean that you automatically go to it. You may keep on scrolling, you know, but something is like calling you back. Something's calling you back. It's your spirit, guys. So um, I'm sure they want to thank you for paying attention to your intuition. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into the reading. So we're going to use five different decks. We're going to use Mother Mary for her beautiful words of wisdom. Of course, we're going to use the Gilded Tarot to go deeper. Um, that's why the readings are long, because we go deep here. You know, I'm looking for real solutions, not just where you're at. You know, what's the potential of what's coming? But how can we get there? How can we live our best lives? Um, for the main spread, I'm going to use the Tarot of Dreams. I did bring out the Romance Angels in case love comes out, which, let's face it, it always does. Um, and I brought back the Universal Tarot for, um, really I'm calling them bullet points, but they can be their own little message. Um, lately, how I've been describing my reading is what we do here is layers, right? Like this is layer one, um, layer two, layer three, layer four, layer five. So let's just, just go deeper and deeper and deeper. Um, just the way I love it. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with Mother Mary. Mother Mary, whispering words of wisdom, let it be, let it be. A bunch of people just clicked off from my singing. They're like, click. Nope. All right. Um, my daughter is, a, or my daughter, my granddaughter is a Capricorn, Faith, who is December 26th. Don't want to forget about her.
even though she's too young to be watching these, but um, though she grew up around it, so she does understand them. Uh, inner child. I nurture the child within me through playfulness and self-care. Inner child. We have sun, sun, everywhere, sun. I watch for, notice, and trust the signs that heaven continuously sends. So, not just one sign, not just two, but throughout your life. We have truth. I am lovingly honest with myself and others. Truth. And last but not least, we have tenderness. I already know what it says. I am both powerful and strong. Well, I was close. I am both gentle and powerful. Um, I say that because this reminds me of the Empress's energy a lot. Truth reminds me of judgment. You know, uh, signs means you're being guided, means that something is coming your way, an inner child coming before all that. You know, I feel like when the inner child is called to attention, it's a time to have fun. You know, it's time to play. Um, doesn't mean that there's no work involved, but it really is a time to, like, be in more uplifted, fun type of energy if possible uh, but again i feel like the signs are going to help you reach that there may be something you just need to be completely honest with yourself about um you know just like look at your life what isn't fitting what needs to go what truths are my am i hiding from myself um does it do me any good to do that no you know because i feel like they'll still show one way or another, you know, whether that be through anxiety. Um, and I feel like sometimes that's where anxiety and that it's like something maybe we don't want to face, but it's better to face it. Again, the signs are definitely should give you a sense of comfort that you're being guided. And tenderness. I am both gentle and powerful. Gentle. Gentle as a little lamb, powerful like a lion. Okay, we're going to keep these out. Actually, let me bring the lid down. I should have did that first. So we're going to keep these out. I think I brought it down too far. And again, these are like layers. So let's go into the major arcanas. And I usually shoot for like three to four, but I normally don't refuse whatever wants to come out either, unless it's like the whole deck. All right. Tower. Flipped itself around in the deck. Could certainly talk about an ending. Could be an ending I didn't ask for. Um, but I often feel in the tower's energy. Whatever change is happening. Day will come when I will look back and be thankful for that tower. It may not be today. It may not be tomorrow. But I feel like it'll be soon. We'll look at this judgment again. So weird the coloring of my screen. Judgment calling you to the present moment. No more time to wallow in the tower's energy. You know, whatever happened in the tower, it really is giving you an opportunity for a rebirth. That's what judgment speaks about. Judgment's calling you to the present moment first and foremost. So if I'm kind of stuck in the past, I need to look at that. You know what I mean? Like... That could be where truth is coming from, from Mother Mary. Judgment is also called truth, by the way, um, in some decks. But it is about your own truth. It's about present moment energy. And then, and then it's about a rebirth. All 
I mean, you want to talk about signs. Here's your spiritual team, the one who brings you these signs. Looking right over at that, that tower. Telling you, I feel like whatever that tower energy was, and you know, a tower means disruption. It's not easy, even if I'm giving someone a tower or a situation a tower, you know, I'm ending it. It still doesn't mean it's easy, but I feel like judgment is like, okay, now you've overcome or you've had the time to overcome. Hopefully you have overcome. Someone could have fallen from grace. Um, I get this feeling also of saying, just remember that we're not put on this earth to fix all people. Some people don't want fixing. We have the moon. Hmm. Well, the moon can talk about uncertainties um, for sure. But it because it's coming next to, to judgment, I feel like it's talking more about dreamy type energy. I wouldn't be surprised if some of you connect to your spiritual team or maybe even to another, like through your dream system. You know, remember that silver string that's attached to us so that we can travel to the astral world? Some of you may be doing it at night. This could also be where your sign your signs are set. All right, let's see if anything else wants to come out. Um, you know, I, I feel like this is probably just for one person, maybe a few, but I do feel like for someone you have a twin, you would know this though, um, who is no longer on this earth. Um, but is part of your spiritual team. Um, now, like brother and sister, sister and sister, brother and brother, but it could also be a twin flame. But it would, I don't feel like this person is on this earth. And I do feel like this is talking about somebody that um, lived in this lifetime. And I know that's only for a few. Yeah, I felt like I had to say that. Okay. Anything else? Anything else? So even though the moon can represent uncertainties, because judgment's here, I feel like this is, this is, you know, maybe what it's saying is I just merely need to take a step forward into whatever is next, whatever is new. You know, whatever the rebirth is, just I'm just going to take a step in, see what the waters are like. Okay, I feel like that's all that wants to come out with them. So let's go ahead and bring in the Tarot of Dreams. And by the way, I'm reading everything together. It's one big cohesive read at the end. Or story, movie. You know, when I do a reading, that's literally what it feels to me. It feels like I'm doing, right now, the movie of Capricorn. And you are the script writer. Even the actors. We have the Queen of Pentacles, probably you. Um, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. I often call this queen my psychic detective. You know, she looks like she's doing well. She's got beautiful jewelry on. Um, 
she got these yellow flowers. I don't know why, but it's making me think of playfulness. We have the Page of Cups. We have the Queen of Swords. Um, can be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have the Six of Cups. Someone that I used to know. We have the Three of Cups. Joy. Celebration. And then we have the Four of Cups. Okay. Look at the cups. You have more cups right now with the Tarot of Dreams than anything. Um, starting with the Page of Cups. You know, the Page of Cups to me often represents the inner child. And that's what Mother Mary is asking you to do. You know, to allow that inner child to come out, to play, to have fun. Um, and, you know, it, it can certainly talk about injuries that we took to the inner child, you know, probably love related, so emotional, let's just say emotionally related, um, because it is cups. I feel like the Queen of Swords sitting next to the Page of Cups, though. Um, I kind of feel like the, the everybody on the table is you so far. Um, and she's pointing right up to judgment with her sword. You know, what I love about this queen is even though she's got a blindfold around her eyes, she can see, right? Like her eyes aren't covered. She's being truthful, honest with herself. She's not hiding anything. No matter what it may be. I'm going to be truthful. I'm going to be honest. She does have these beautiful white wings, though. So I don't feel like she's using this sword in an aggressive type way. I feel like she's using the sword more as in, you know, what just doesn't fit. You have the Four of Cups below this page, and the, and the Four of Cups speaks about, first of all, it can represent discontentment and boredom in one's life. But it would be of an emotional nature. I, I don't feel like it means in all areas of your life, more of an emotional nature. In the Four of Cups, though, this person is receiving a cup. And it looks like it's coming from the heavens. It's definitely coming from above. Especially with judgment right there, right? Your spiritual team. And the meaning of this card is um, learning how to use your spiritual discernment relating to whether I accept that cup or not. It does feel playful. Um, it's next to the energy of joy and celebration. We do have the Six of Cups here. And although I don't always like to read this as like someone that I used to know, it could certainly represent that here. Um, because again, I'm feeling the energy of inner child, playful, playfulness. We know there's about to be some type of rebirth. It does feel like it's going to be dreamy. It does bring the energy of joy along with it. Um, though I do want also to remind you again that this Queen of Swords is being completely open and honest, not only with herself, but with others. You know, I can be lovingly honest. I don't have to be aggressive, and I don't feel she's being aggressive. I feel like she's, I feel like she's earned these wings. And so that tells me that there's something on this earth that she's really accomplished. Um... You know, and maybe I'm not wearing the wings now, but I feel like, you know, and I'm using it like as a metaphor, but I do. I feel like she's earned these wings. All right, let's keep going. 
you know, that's why judgment is saying, try not to focus on whatever the tower was for you. Um, and try to allow yourself to have these rebirths. You know, this is not a one-time thing. I feel like often there's opportunities that open for us, but we have to really learn to use our own spiritual discernment. All right, we have the Ten of Swords. Hmm. Okay, so that's why the Queen, at one time, probably did have that blindfold on. Ten of Swords means that somewhere, you know, it, it's got to be connected to that tower where you're the one who took dagger after dagger in your back. It can talk about a repeat pattern. Um, and that may be another thing I need to be completely truthful with myself. You know, if I find myself attracted back and to the to someone who just is more than comfortable living in their lower vibrational energy, but you don't want to be in that energy, then you've got to recognize that. Because I feel like they're not going to change, but you can change. You have that power. Um, and I feel like for some of you, it's answering a question. There could be someone that, you know, kind of like left you hanging on the hook. <clears throat> is that what you want in your life? Um, because I feel if this has anything to do with love, then I don't want love that I have to question. Like, if you're going to love me, love me. I don't want to play games. By the way, when I say I, I mean you. I had one person leave a comment and said, what was the whole reading for you? And and she and I asked her why she said that. She didn't answer me. But I have a feeling it's because I say I a lot. But when I say I, I am you. Unless I am telling you, like, you know, a personal story. But otherwise, I am you. Hello, Ace of Pentacles. So, no wonder judgment is trying to get a hold of you. No wonder judgment wants you to be in the present moment. What? Why is the present moment so important? Because that's where your signs are sent. Mother Mary is telling you that there are signs coming your way. You know, you may not need, you may not know all that these signs are going to bring, you know what I mean? Or like, let's say this Ace of Pentacles. This means something is coming into your physical world. It really is meant to enhance your world. I, you know, and I love how it looks like Hercules holding up this pentacle. And to me, it's representing like spiritual muscles, spiritual growth. So here comes something new. And it means it's coming into your physical world. It's coming under the Six of Cups. And by the way, it's mirroring joy and celebration. And then we have faith. Um, this is the uh, Major Arcana for Taurus. But this is really about your belief system. Um, prayers being heard and prayers being answered. What you want to remember, though, is sometimes your your prayers are answered differently than what you prayed for, but they're better, better than, right? They're divine. They're divinely answered. Um, because it's a five, I feel like five gives us the opportunity or maybe it's something we should learn. Like every time, like we're in a, you know, the fifth year of a nine year cycle, we take, we stop. Take a look around. You know, what do I want to keep? What do I want to let go of? Kind of like a full moon's energy. We have what? Pluto moving into Aquarius. I'm going to leave him right there. And well, his sun on the bottom of the deck. Beautiful. Um, anytime I see the sun, I think of playfulness. Playfulness, inner child, joy, celebration. Like, 
illumination. Anything done in the dark will come to the light when the sun is out. So you don't have to fear that. I feel like what this is asking you to be truthful with for yourself is relating to this Ten of Swords that ultimately caused this tower. So if I'm thinking of maybe whatever the, the tower is for you, giving it another shot, I feel like this is kind of answering the question, like it'll just go right back to where it was. Even if, let's say this is talking about a partnership, it feels like maybe you evolved, but did the other person evolve? Well, because the Ten of Swords is here, I kind of feel not. Um, but here's this Four of Cups, which is, again, bringing Cup in. You have the Six of Cups. That could talk about someone from your past. Now, if this is someone from your past... Um, this would be someone that when you think of them, you think happy thoughts. You know, it really is about treasured memories. You have a lot of energy that talks about the inner child. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised surprised if this is saying that this could even be someone you know from like your childhood. Um, I'm not gonna say it has to be love, but I feel like if nothing else, it would be a great friendship. I also feel that um, your morals would be very, very aligned. Your faith would be aligned. And I, feel, I do feel like for some of you, this is something that you've prayed for. And the prayer is being answered. And how beautiful that the sun is also here. You know, the sun is, you know, to me, the sun is like a brand new day. There's no clouds in the sky. Everything, you know, and by the way, we ha we do have the feminine with the moon and the masculine with the sun. So we, we do have the feminine and the masculine both here. You know, Capricorn, it feels like you're moving out of a period of time where there was just a lot of worry. Um, I don't know. It just feels like a period of time where, like, things just kept happening, but they weren't good. And But maybe it was it was trying to teach you something. And sometimes it's simply learning what I don't want. And I, and I do feel like you must have learned because the Ace of Pentacles means that you're ready for whatever is new, whatever is next. That's why judgment's calling you to the present moment. This Ace comes in the present moment. You know, the Ace of Pentacles to me, a lot of times you'll see roots that hang down from this Ace. And to me, that represents something that I can plant and something that can truly flourish. But I've got to nurture it. At the same time. All right. Let's bring in the Gilded Tarot. Everything's always pre-shuffled. Just so you know. Let's give him a cut. Look at this, the Five of Swords, it's in reverse. Five of Swords, toxicity. Usually it's other people, but I'm taking the brunt of it. It's in reverse. So that Ten of Swords, this is someone being completely and just what's the word I want to use? Like I'm being completely honest with myself. If I know what this tower is, and this is a tower that I have become all too familiar with because it's happened over and over again, 
there was some type of toxicity that lied within that. You know, it's it's like the our humanist versus our spiritual being. But I feel like this is you figuring that out and you're letting it go. It becomes part of your past, not your present nor your future. I'll always take the reversal of the Five of Swords. Well, hello, world. So here comes the next chapter. You know, it means a chapter's ending. But I see nothing that makes me want to stay with this chapter. That was. Because again, this the, the last chapter seemed to result in a tower. But I do feel like it was more than once. But this queen, again, being completely truthful and honest with herself, her blindfold is off, there's nothing, you know, she's not lying to herself. The truth is the truth is the truth, and the truth shall set you free. So, here is the next chapter. It's just time. I mean, it's kind of nice that judgment is right there because it lets you know that your spiritual team is always with you. <clears throat> They're always sending you signs. The reason why we miss signs so much is because sometimes we're so concentrated on the past and what was and what we wish could be that we forget to start planting seeds today, right? Because the seeds we plant today will be our future. You know, that's the power you have. I also love the world opening up over the page of cups because, again, Mother Mary bringing out inner child. Goodbye, Tower. In the world right next to judgment, couldn't it be a better place? Because I feel like when you're walking in the chapter of the world, which, by the way, I often feel is like what lasts for the rest of my life. Because I feel like this is where my spirituality is really alive, where I'm really trusting. Doesn't mean, again, that everything is perfect, that I pick up every sign. But I know if I miss a sign that I can ask for that sign to come back again. Like, make it so I can't deny it. Well, I feel like that's what truth in this queen, that's exactly what she's doing. She's no longer denying, you know, the facts. Beautiful. Look at this. Four swords. That tower seems to get further and further and further behind us. Healing. I just think whatever that tower is for you, the power it once held, it has lost. It, it doesn't hold power within you anymore. But you need to realize that. But I feel like you do. Look at this, the Four of Cups over the Six of Cups. Four, oh, I thought it's oh, Four of Cups right here. Well, 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 well. First thing I pick up is you're not alone when you're searching for a certain, let's just say love. You're searching for, a, mm, I don't even know if searching is the right word. I have two people here who both when they think about their emotional life, are not satisfied. Let's put it that way. 
but I also have two people separate of each other who are both receiving a cup. So an opportunity to perhaps love again. Now, I say again, I don't have to have been in love with this person. It just may be someone that I know that, you know, I just get this feeling like someone must be thinking about you. And you're probably thinking about someone else. Hmm. All right, we have the Page of Swords. Interesting. And I'll tell you why I'm saying interesting is I feel this could be potential communication. Um, a lot of times the page will speak about what's in the atmosphere, what's about to reach you. This can certainly speak of someone of a younger period also, a younger time. Um, and it could be an air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but it doesn't have to be. It could certainly speak about someone who part of their life's, their soul's lessons in this lifetime was really to learn the fine art of communication. Um, this person could be a great speaker, a writer. Um, I just get this feeling, though, this is someone of your past. And I get this feeling that there's going to be some type of communication. We have the Five of Cups over the Four of Cups. And then we have the Hierophant over the Ten of Swords. Look at that. With the Hierophant also right here. There's some synchronicities in this reading. And I swear to God, I don't try to make these love readings. And it's not just love. First of all, it's showing how you yourself have evolved. How by being honest with daggers that you keep taking in your back. And you may ask yourself, should I give it another chance? Another try? I mean, that is always up to you. That's free will. But I feel like your guide is saying... But my dear, you'll probably end up just right back where you are again. And you'll have to go through the healing process again. So I feel like that becomes pretty clear. And I'm no longer thinking in that way. So I'm no longer thinking about whoever or whatever put these daggers in my back. I've moved on from that now. And I feel like that's what the, the tower was all that. But now judgment is calling you to the present moment. This new chapter is opening. The hardship seems to be going out the door. And who knows? Maybe these two. You know, like I want to say we're always meant to be together. But maybe in divine timing. At the same time. Um, we have two Tars side by side. But let's keep going. <clears throat> by the way, I, I, I don't know why I completely skipped over the Five of Cups. Um, so... Five of Cups is coming over the Four of Cups. The Five of Cups, interesting, that it's coming over the Four of Cups. And I say that because in the Five of Cups, it really asks you to ask yourself, where is your focus at? What are you focusing on? Are you focusing, are you focusing on the cups that you have lost, the cups that have been knocked over, the tower moments, the, the, the daggers that were put in your back, that type of thing? And it asks you to consider 
anew. Um, you know, five is about change. So, and you have the energy of joy and really celebration right here that's mirroring this Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles, something's coming into your physical world. So when this person does ultimately say, you know what, I'm not going to keep looking back. I'm not going to keep looking at the cups that have been knocked over. I'm going to start thinking about what's next in my life, what what's new that I can create, you know, the power that I've gained. My spirituality has grown. First of all, when you're vibrationless, anything that comes toward you must also be of that vibration. And if it's not, it will naturally want to fade away. We just have to allow it. But when this person makes a change, by the way, three fives in a row. So it could be some major changes. Um, but I feel like all the changes are for your benefit. So anyways, in the five of cups, when this person makes a change, there's two cups behind them. And to me, that does represent a soulmate energy. Coming over the four of cups where you literally have a cup being handed to you. And all it asks you to do is use your spiritual discernment. The sun is out. It will illuminate to you pretty quickly. If, let's just say this is a person. And I feel like because we have two hierophants, yes, it could be double tars for some. But I feel like more what it's saying, it's, it's about the alignment of morals of belief systems you know two people who think much more alike than differently doesn't mean we're exactly the same and you know and i feel like that's something that we would appreciate about each other but long story short it kind of feels like soulmate energy that feels like it might start coming together. Well, hello, destiny. So it's time. That's what judgment is here, right? I need you in the present moment. The wheel's going to start moving. I always feel when I see the wheel that it, it should give you a sense of comfort that you're moving into a destined time. That means it, it means this this is something that your soul has requested probably before it even came into this lifetime. I often feel that about soulmates. Like we say to each other before we come into this lifetime, you know, let's go down and let's live our own personal experiences and learn our own personal lessons, but then let's get together. And because we're born in the amnesia, that's where our spiritual team comes in. They're going to help guide us. So you're moving into a destined time. And then the seven of pentacles, to me, it's also destiny. You know, it's almost like everything I just said about the planting of seeds, because I feel like this is your tree of life. And each seed is a seed that you planted. And certain seeds come to fruition at certain times. So at least one seed, if not two, feel like they are now coming about. It's time. Right? Seven of Pentacles first is patience. And that's, you know, that's why I always call this an apple tree. Because it reminds me of like, I'm not going to pick an apple before it's ripe. And I'm certainly not going to pick if it's rotten. Right? It's the right time. I pick it at the right time. And because I also feel this is like your tree of life, I feel whatever, and it's following destiny. So whatever follows, I feel is meant to follow. Doesn't mean you don't have free will in all this. You do. You can say yay or nay all over the place. But it doesn't stop what? is going to be guided from being guided into your life. And then you make a decision. I don't know why. 
I don't know. I, I just feel like, to me, it just feels like it would be a yes. Yes to accepting the cup from the Four of Cups. Yes to accepting the Ace of Pentacles and expanding my life. Yes to no longer focusing on what I have lost. Instead of, I'm going to start thinking about what you have to gain. You know, being true to yourself. I feel like that's been an important lesson that you've been learning, like really to be true to yourself. And then it does feel like a match. Like, I feel like who's ever in the Six of Cups feels like your match, you know. And what I mean by that is I feel like you're very like-minded. Um, well, I feel like you're probably soulmates. Not probably, you are soulmates. And, and the reason why I say you're soulmates is because judgment, again, is calling you to the present moment. Signs are guiding you. Um, the world is like the next chapter opening up. The sun is your illuminator. There's nothing to fear here. Even the healing process. Maybe you've been in the healing process. You know, and when you're in the healing process, I feel like you take the time that you need. However, as I say that, I feel like there's things that are opening up in your life and um, it feels good. I feel like before I go on, um, I'm going to bring the romance ages out, but I feel like I'm going to look at the six of cups with the four of cups. With the, you know, and the Ace of Pentacles is right underneath that Six of Cups. So, the Ace of Pentacles, at least at my table, means that there is something coming into your physical world. It's tangible. It's touchable. It may even be kissable. All right, we have the Four of Pentacles. I don't know why, but I feel like for some of you... This could be like a home, even a home. And by the way, four, 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 I just saw another four, three fours and three fives. Oh, there's a four, 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 four. Page of cups again. Why am I saying again? And then the hermit. Um, Carter Virgo. But a lot of you know what I'm going to say next. Doesn't mean it is a Virgo. To me, what it means is that both of these people, because I do feel like we're talking about two, two people now, but I feel like both of these people have gone through pretty similar situations. Um, and each had to overcome their own life experiences. Now, you could come together and be and be great healers for each other. You know what I mean? Because you have your experiences that you've overcome. Now, they have theirs that they've overcome. So if there's anything you need help in, I feel like they're just they can just step in and help and vice versa. Hermit can certainly talk about going through the dark night of the soul. But what I love is the hermit's lantern is illuminating the future, not the past. And to me, it, it is like wisdom. You know, like the wise old soul. And it may be two wise old souls. And that may be, again, why we have destiny in the Seven of Pentacles. It's like, it's a destined time. These seeds, and here literally is the seed. It's coming to fruition. Here is the next chapter. Ready or not, here I come. And I feel like for some of you, if you have someone on your mind um, that just may have like come out, it doesn't mean that someone, like this person may have lived in your heart all along, but like all of a sudden you start thinking about them. Well, it's because I feel like they're thinking about you, but it's interesting because I feel like they think about you first. Uh, 
All right. Um, anything else I'm going to look at? I think what I want to do. Look at this. Night of Cups. Unexpected couple fulfillment. What I was going to say is I was just going to take a couple cards right across the table. So first card, the Knight of Cups. Right next to the world. The new, the next chapter. Unexpected couple fulfillment. Well, that's how I feel love happens. I feel like very seldom do we plan out love. Um, you know, we fall in love. I have a feeling someone's going to reach out or you're reaching out. You know, I don't know why I always put the, the, the ball in someone else's court. Because if you want to reach out, then I feel like you should reach out. I feel like really what this is speaking about is you may be falling in love and it could be completely unexpected. Knight of Swords. Look at that. Two knights and they're facing each other. Interesting. Ring, ring. How are you? How are you been? For some reason, you've been on my mind lately. Well, that's weird because you've been on my mind also. You know, this person doesn't have to be anyone that you were in love with. But you may have had a certain type of love for. And what I mean is like, it could have been like a friend. It could have been someone you, I don't know. I just feel like, well, I feel you're going to be surprised. And maybe that's why I feel surprised. I feel good you're going to be surprised. But I 100% now feel like communication is coming your way. Nine of Pentacles. Um, we got a lot of Virgo on the table. I'm just going to say that. Nine of Pentacles. I love the Nine of Pentacles. Maybe because I am Virgo. Um, but I'll tell you why I love the Nine of Pentacles. Because it really speaks about success. It speaks about independent success. You know, your hard work and you reaping the benefits of your hard work. But what else I love about the Nine of Pentacles, especially seeing the Hermit twice, right? Where like I had to do this deep reflection. Nine of Pentacles is really an independent nature. It's where you're feeling strong on your own two feet. And right below all that is that Ten of Swords, which does feel like a repeat pattern, though I feel like you're putting an end to that. You know, sometimes... Some of these situations through the tower are karmic. And it is an opportunity to pay back certain karma forever. And not just for you, but also for, for those who follow. So, I like that you're standing strong. That's what I feel like. I feel like you're standing strong by the time this reaches you. You're, you're feeling so much doesn't mean you're feeling like a hundred percent or you're ready just to fall in love. I don't even think it's about that. I don't think it's like whether you're ready or not. I do feel like you probably are, or I don't think judgment would be like ushering this in. And because it's part of your destiny, I feel like this is what you're, this is like a soul's request your human mind may not know that right away. Um, but I have a feeling once this starts to come together, you'll recognize each other. Like some of you, you know, you already know each other, but I mean, you'll recognize each other on a soul's level. All right, let's bring in the, in the romance angels. You know, Capricorn, this just feels like a good time for you. It feels like, you know, 
like hardships coming to an end. But it is because of you. You know, not all things you could control, but the things that you can control, I feel like you are taking control of. <clears throat> and the things that you cannot control, you're letting go of. And that is balance. All right. And I mean, the Nine of Pentacles, listen, if if you have a, um, a business and it's your business, this is success. I mean, this is real success. The meaning of the Nine of Pentacles is independent or it's um, blah, 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 successful self-employment. It is because of your hard work. But in the Nine of Pentacles, I often feel I love what I'm doing. And some of you, I could see you doing like healing work. Why? Because you've been through it. Because you're so much wiser than you were. Just as it was meant to be. Okay. But I'm really happy to see that. You add that nine of pentacles to this ace of pentacles. That does take us to the ten of pentacles. Trust. Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. We have faith here twice, side by side. Situation is calling for you to have faith. Trust. It's like trust, truth, tenderness. The three T's. We have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. You're doing exactly what judgment is asking you to do. Just bring in your attention to the present moment. And then we have free yourself. Free yourself and the rest will follow. It's time to take back control of your life. It's time to take back control of your life. Yes, it is. And I feel like I want to take a couple more. I knew something else wanted to come out. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Now, we do have the Six of Cups. So for some of you, again, this is someone you already know. But for some of you, this could be someone completely new. I say new, but, but I feel like you already know each other. You know each other on a soul level. And let's just do it one more. Look at, well, there we go. Past life relationship. This has come up a lot lately. You have known each other before. So, new love. And and let me say something real quick. You know, and I hate to tell you my story again, but I'm going to just give you, like, bullet points of it. Um, Sam and I, the, the person I'm with now, who really is my soulmate, um, we were together as teenagers, and then we broke up, and then we went and... He lived his life. I lived my life. And 40 years after the fact, he reached out unexpectedly out of the blue and called me. Here it is right here. That started a brand new chapter in my life. The reason why I'm saying this is because for some of you, this could be someone that you know, but it, it's still new love. And I say that because Sam and I knew each other as teenagers, not as adults. So we had to get to know each other again. I feel like for everyone, this is talking about love. Not just love, though. But as we speak about love, 
you know, I knew it was a soulmate. I just knew it. I just knew it. Like, I knew it before I even started dealing the cards that, that soulmate energy was going to come up. Um, so, you know, whether I know this person from this lifetime or not, we are soulmates. We know each other and we'll know each other for eternity. Not only do I feel like you're going to connect in this lifetime, you're going to reconnect again once we all cross over. I feel like a lot of these soulmates, I feel like these seeds were already planted. And I feel like your spiritual team, what they're trying to do is, is call your attention to the present moment. This is where they send the signs. I guess how you can tell if this is going to be new love. And again, you still know each other. Or someone from this lifetime. What was I just going to say? I just completely forgot what I was going to say. Maybe it wasn't that important. Um, the bottom line is under this new love and past life relationship, past life relationship is the wheel and the seven of pentacles. These seeds were planted. Your spiritual team is just calling you to the present moment. You finding this independent nature within yourself feels important. Even both of these soon to be lovers have both gone through probably difficult experiences. And some of you, I feel like you're now, you know, like healing is part of what you do. It's just a natural part of who you are now, but it may also be like how you make your money. Um, you know, what you do in the world. I guess the best thing to say is get ready for the unexpected. And the best way to get ready for the unexpected is to think about where is my own energy? Am I open? Am I open to whatever is new? And again, I want to remind you, you can always say no. You know, as it comes in, maybe you feel, oh, I'm not ready yet. That's your choice, right? But this feels like, soul contracts that are now coming due. You can cancel a soul contract. I don't know why you would, but you can. I feel like the only reason I would, it would be fear-based. Everything else just feels, I feel like the days of hardships, now I'm not promising that every day is going to be easy, but I feel like worry Hardship, daggers in your back, they seem to be because of you, because you are no longer taking it, it's ending. And not only is that ending, but you're healing over that period of time. So it's not going to have a big effect in your future. You know, when I see this type of energy following a tower, I often feel like there's going to be a day I'm going to go back and I'm going to thank that tower. Because without that tower, maybe I never would have found you. Reminds me of a Chicago song. She never cheated on me. Then I never would have found you. So it, the song talks about someone going through something so difficult, right? Being cheated on. And thinking, that's it. Life is over. But then, lo and behold, someone comes into her life that is so much better for them. Right? That is really a true love. I'm trying to, that's like what the song is about. But I could see the song being written. Like, I could see, like, someone, like, watching this video 
and be like, I could write that song. So, okay. I'm going to leave it there, guys. Um, you know, the last thing I want to say is when the sun comes out and you're reading, expect a good time. Expect a good time. The signs, when the sun is out, they're going to be clear. You're being guided right to what your soul wanted in divine timing. And this feels like divine timing. All right, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Um, I love you. I thank you. I, you know, it's funny. I'm sitting here thinking, like, what was your other reading about? But I can't think of it. Um, I knew that I know that I did a special reading for you, um, but I can't think of what it was. And to me, sometimes that's a good thing. That means that this reading is standing on its own. So my wish and my prayers for you is that these blessings find you, that these signs are so clear you can't help but follow them, and that you be open to what wants to find you, and new, the new, even if it's old, it's new again. Free yourself, and the rest will follow. Trust. Have faith. You have faith twice. But I feel like it's two different people. I do notice the synchronicities. All right. Your comments will let me know. Um... You know, how this relates to you, where you're at in this reading. Um, you know, if you're still in the tower type energy, know that it does feel like this is movement. Like, it just feels like, no matter what, it, it feels like um, planetary movement that's going to make life easier. But that's just one element of many things I feel like are happening for you. Remember, we had three fives. You may have three changes, but they all feel good. All of them feel good. Your money feels good. I feel like some of you are finally healing. You're becoming so much wiser. You know, like, I want to call you my wise old souls. And I don't mean old. Well, you are old. We are old. We're just new in this lifetime. You know, if you believe in spirituality, then you know. When I talk about your guides sending you signs, I'm speaking the truth. Okay. I love you guys. I thank you. I'll see you next time at our table. Bye-bye.